Greetings, Unsettled Souls. Do me a favor. Do remember it is 420. That means it is Sam DeGangie doing his fictional character, Buddy Puff. And Buddy Puff, of course, only comes out on Halloween, April Fool's Day in 420. Enjoy the show, friends. Please hit subscribe and hit share. Without further ado, here's factual news from a fictional character, Buddy Puff. You're on. Hey, 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 buddy. Yeah, what's going on? I'm like, already, I'm so hyped about doing my show. Man. Really? I'm really hyped about doing your show, huh? Thank you. Well, you're on! Oh, 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 hey, welcome to the correct... <coughs> I'm taking care of Ed, man. <coughs> welcome <coughs> to the correct views, man. It's like... I'm Buddy Puff, and they only let me on like three times a year, which Sam is certain is like, you know, three times too many. Hey, he can hear people hitting on some sky. <laughs> I think I will. <laughs> Washington Times, DEA to decide within months whether to change the federal status of marijuana. So, I mean, like, basically... What they're doing is they're going to decide whether or not, even though the government says like, the states have rights, they're saying no, man, it's like states don't have any rights. So they just ignore the rights of them completely. So they're going to do a vote to see whether or not that's going to continue to be, you know, the status quo, which I'm going to go to the screen share while I read this. Uh... The DEA man says it plans to decide within the next several months whether to change the federal status on marijuana, according to a letter sent by lawmakers this week. Like, it was all official, man. They weren't, like, going ahead and, like, sending in an email that was, like, through a bathroom and, like, a Hillary account. Nothing like that, man. It was all legit with, like, a letter. Marijuana is currently classified as a Schedule Run drug, alongside the likes of LSD and heroin. I've never, I've never smoked weed and thought I was falling in, into a hole with the devil, so I don't really see the, uh, I don't know what I mean. It's deemed to have a high potential for abuse and is no accepted medical use at all. That's like not medically cool. Researching could make it easier, it says, for like researchers to study potential uses for the drug. So basically what they're gonna do is they're gonna be like, you know, in Colorado, like you said you could have weed, but if you grow weed, we're gonna arrest you anyway. But now they're trying to see if they can get more money from the taxes than they can from locking you up. But that's not the way they wrote it. Like, they wrote a whole article saying a bunch of other stuff. But that's pretty much what it is. It said it would make it easier practically, he said. With onerous constraints in place, others have opted instead to engage in clinical trials to study the effects of, study the effect of cannabinoids. Which, you know, is what makes you get high. Never mind the fact that it can do, like, cure epilepsy. And the cool thing about what's not cool for me, of course, is the one that cures epilepsy is, like, the one that doesn't get you high. So it, like, sucks if you have epilepsy, you have to smoke weed, it doesn't get you high all the time. And you can still end up in the clink, man. So then you'll be having, like, seizures in the clink. It's a downer, man. Absolute downer. So according to them, man, they can go ahead and they're going to decide whether or not to let the states do what it is that the states do and regulate themselves, man. And I'm going to close out because Sam said I only get two stories because I'm like the most annoying of all the characters. What's he know, man? He's kind of an ass. Mexican army destroys... Two opium poppy plantations near the California border. Now, of course, you know, the government was protecting the uh, 
poppies in Afghanistan, but like you're not supposed to talk about it. Cause if you talk about it, man, they'll come into your house and they'll say like they're like busting you for weed or something. But really, man, they busted you because you talked about the opium plant. So like I'm not talking about them, even though I kind of mentioned it. But no one watches when I'm on anyway, so I don't don't think the helicopters are going to be around here. The Mexican army says it has discovered almost an acre of opium poppies growing in the township of Ensada. That's like right near the U.S. border where like people are sneaking over and shit. Soldiers destroyed. No, they got to get this. They got two of them. Two poppy plantations in the hills near Baja, California. And they were like, man, that's like so not cool. It's about 60 miles south of the Cali border, man. Opium poppies are usually a mountain crop grown further down south in Mexico. The Mexican cartels have been expanding poppy production to export heroin into the U.S. Now, I don't know about you, man, but I ain't down with any heroin, man. That's just a cool and like took out Hendrix and... Like Kurt Cobain when he was like singing for like Blind Melon and like a Nirvana. And I might have messed that up. The Army's second military region said in a press statement Tuesday that the poppies were destroyed by cutting and burning. You know, they stand there burning and like sniffing it in and they're like sniffing heroin. Meanwhile, they're busting your daughter or son because he smokes a little weed. Kinda of seems hypocritical when you think about it. Small marijuana plots were found in the same area and they were also destroyed. How much you wanna bet they were destroyed by like burning them, man. Guys, you're listening to the correct views. Sam is like so not gonna let me speak in New Halloween because he said I am as annoying as hell. <laughs> it's brought to you by Sticker Junkie, man. Good night. Like, I think Sam says, like, God bless. But the guy, he's just going to cut his head off for it or something, you know. <laughs>